Right, hello and welcome back to another video. This week I am proud to announce uh, the release of another long form tutorial series, um, Unreal 5 Materials Course Part 2 World Position Offset Animation. Um, so it's available now on Gumroad and soon to be available on Udemy as well. Uh, this is a follow up to the previous course, so we have a real deep dive into world position offset animations. Um, it's about seven hours long and similar in structure to the first course. So uh, we start looking at some um, sort of theory, background knowledge into um, different uh, spaces, some basic ve vector maths, uh, doing animation with time, um, kind of breaking down a lot of core concepts, uh, as you see here. Uh, then we do some simple worked examples, so using some assets from Megascans, um, just simple movements, uh, looking at using randomization, um, two-way motion, uh, vertex colors, rotations, all of that, um, looking at some more kind of like smooth movements, so things like flags and simple cloths, uh, and then the main bulk of the of the work we're looking at foliage, so how to deal with large grass clumps, world space, local space, um, all sorts of things. Um, larger grasses with, with wind, um, bigger foliage assets as well, so um, kind of ferns that have a lot more rotational motion, um, and so on, floating objects, etc. Uh, have a look at some advanced things as well. <coughs> so uh, a couple of things you can do with world position, uh, so fake sprites and spline thicken, um, couple of little animals so here we've got a butterfly and a fish um, specifically with the fish we make a little particle effect uh, and use some data from the particle to create some um, some variation in our world position offset create this sort of automatic curvature um, talk about normals how to redivive them uh, I've done that as a YouTube video already but we cover it again here um, and then finally we have a look at some world space or world scale effects. So uh, using uh, blueprints here to drive uh, um, parameters for a sort of yeah, spiral based world um, such as this. Uh, and then finally doing a um, player based effects. Um, so again, using blueprints to take information from our character, pass it to our materials in the world, um, and then just bending around and flattening out the world. Um, to create these kind of effect here. Uh, as I say, about seven hours, seven and a half hours worth of video content. Um, we go into lots of detail into vectors and maths and the, the background and all of that, as well as all those worked examples. So uh, it's a really good course, I think, a um, lot to learn. Um, and I will leave you with an example lesson and we're gonna talk about ferns and how to mask out half of the fern based on a wind direction, which is a nice little bit of vector maths that, that works quite well. So um, do check it out. If you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, either email me here, comments below, um, any way you wanna get a hold of me. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the course and learn some things about world position offset. And I'll see you all next time. Okay, right, so how are we going to isolate half of our mesh, basically the half or sort of the one side of the wind versus the other side of the wind based on the sort of wind direction. Well, we're gonna do it with a little bit of vector maths. Um, and so our input that we have is the uh, wind direction from our collection parameter, foliage wind direction. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna cross it with the up vector. Uh, so uh, mask out Red, green and blue and then cross product with the up vector. So what's that doing? Well if I bring my pen back and uh, just clear that drawing. So we have a wind direction that let's just make this apply an X. There we are. Uh, we have a wind direction that is in the x-axis. Um, then by crossing that with up, effectively we're going to calculate this y. So we're going to calculate this direction. That's the first part of what we're doing here. So calculating the um, the sort of cross wind direction, as we've done in uh, a few examples already. Um, 
But now I want to know a kind of a radial vector from the center of my object. Well, if I take the current vertex position and I take the object, not scale, object position, uh, object position world space, and I subtract one from the other, I can effectively work out, and let's just normalize that to make it a direction vector. I can effectively take my center point, let's use a different color, my center point, and then this point here, let's say for example, or every single point as it's being considered, subtract one to the other and normalize, I can calculate this direction vector. So I've got two direction vectors, and on this side of the plant, they're gonna face the same way, and on the other side of the plant, they're gonna face opposite ways. Well, how can we compare two vectors to work out how similar they are in direction? We can use the dot product. And so by dotting these two together, and if I just preview that, it should show exactly what we want. So here, the, um, I don't think I can preview these really, it's not gonna give me yeah, anything useful. Um, but we can say basically, I mean, my drawing's not quite right, it's the wrong way around. Um, I do minus blue, that should give me the correct results. There we are. Um, we're taking the primary direction, the x-axis, we're crossing it with up, or in this case down, to calculate the, um, the sort of side axis to our model. And then we're taking a position on our object and the center point of the object to create kind of a radial vector that goes all the way around. And if we compare the two, the radial vectors that are on one side will result in a positive value and on the other a negative value. And in fact what we're going to do is take the sine of this dot product and we'll just get 1 and minus 1. Unreal can't display minus 1, well that's fine, um, but this will give us our kind of half mask, I will call it, uh, and we'll just save this out as a named reroute half mask. So it's a little bit complex in terms of uh, the vector math of what we're doing, but hopefully that makes sense. We're taking, as I say, the primary wind direction, cross it with up to find the kind of counter direction or the cross wind direction, and then taking the um, current position of our object, of our vert, subtracting the object center, and then dot product those two. Um, again, if you need to know more about cross and dot, uh, cover that a lot in the first video series in this um, well, the first video series that I put out uh, in introduction to materials. Um, but then we sign that and we get our half mask. So positive values on one side, negative on the other. Uh, and I'm just going to comment that out and save it. So half mesh calculation. Now, if I go back up to my world position offset, I can take this and if I just multiply by my half mask. What we should find is the part of the object that's on one side is going, is moving correctly, and part of the object on the other side is rotating the other way. Okay, now we are getting some stretching uh, where the um, kind of center of the of the object is, um, but that's fine. We'll be able to sort of hide that with some variation later on. Um, but now we're kind of getting the kind of motion that we want. Um, okay, so in the next video we'll take this a little bit further uh, and we'll add some secondary motion and start pushing this uh, a little bit more.